Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you are doing well. So here I am with the questions that is mainly the multiple choice questions from the chapter triangles. Okay. So there are around uh, 10 to 12 questions. We'll solve them one by one. Okay. And uh, you should practice them properly. Okay. They are very important for your exam. So let us start with the first question now. In the given figure, DE is parallel to BC. Okay. If DE, where is this? Yes, this. DE is 3 cm. BC is 6 cm. And the area of triangle ADE is 15 cm square. Then the area of triangle ABC is what? So this is on the basis of uh, theorem related to area of similar triangle. It says that area of one triangle divided by area of the second similar triangle is equal to the square of the ratio of the corresponding sides correct so here they have given area as 15 area of the first triangle and here area of the second which is the abc let me write it as abc is equal to side one the smallest one is three and the biggest one is six so square so on solving this, you will get area of ABC equals to 9 by 6 is the 36. So on cross multiplication, area of ABC is equal to 15 into 36 divided by 9. So 9 ones are 9 fours are 15 fours are 60 centimeters square. Option number A. Got it? So this is how you have to solve the problem. Got it? First understand the type of question they have asked, then solve it. Next question is, in the given figure, angle B is 90 degree, BD is perpendicular to AC, then the correct relation among the following is dash. Okay. So first look at the options. AB square they have given. So this is AB square. Next BC square they have given. Okay. Again BC square, BC square. Okay. So, what you have to do? You have to compare triangle ABC. Let me write ABC and ADC you can compare. Okay. ADC. Why? Because see, angle A is similar, common and here angle B is equal to angle D. Correct. So, using AA criteria, we can say they are similar. Now, AB by here you have to take AD. Correct is equal to BC here it is DC and the last is AC again you will get AC here right ABC and ADB sorry this is B not sorry 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 so AB by AD is equal to BC by DB this is DB and AC by AB okay now what you have to do just compare these two Okay, since AB is here and again AB is here and they have given AB square also. If you do this, AB by AD is equal to AC by AB. So, on doing cross multiplication, you will get AB square equals to AC into AD. So, AD into AC. But they have given AD into DC. So, this can't be correct. Now, we go for BC. So, in BC... Again, we have to take uh, BC and ABC. So, how can you do that? ABC and ABC. And here you have to take ABC and this time CDB. Okay. C, uh, BDC. Sorry, it is BDC. BDC. Because C is common here okay and it should be at last and again b is equal to d so in this case we need bc square so i'll just take this bc bc by what is this dc is equal to here if you see bc is here and here it is ac so first you have to take ac now bc so on doing cross multiplication we will get bc square is equal to dc into ac so bc square dc into ac yes Yes, option number C. Here it is ADBC, but we need ACDC. 
so this is ac and dc or cd both of them are correct option number c is the right choice so this is how you have to solve these problems okay they are similar only then you can solve this next is question number third yes this is also a very important one in the right angle triangle pqr you can look at here this is pqr okay angle q is 90 yes squares on the sides pr pq and qr are drawn as shown in the figure yeah you can see this is a square again this is another square and this is the one more the areas of square prcd where is that p r c d yes this is 100 and uh, sorry p q e f so where is p q e f p q e f is 136 so this is 36 then the length of side q r where is q r this okay so since they are square we know that area of square is l square so to find this side we need the root of 100 correct because a root will give root a will give l so this will be 10 correct and again this root 36 this will be 6 now this is 10 this is 6 what will be this use pythagoras theorem 10 square is equal to 6 square plus qr square correct so 100 if you bring this to here this become minus 36 which is qr square so this is equal to how much 64 right so root of 64 is 8 and that is the length of q1 okay so option number a is the correct one got it so even this is a very interesting question just you have to understand use the basics and solve next question in the given figure x y yes this is parallel to bc ay where is ay yes it is 3.5 yc is 2.5 ax by bx is equal to what so ax by bx is equal to what they have asked what you can do you can write just ax by bx is similar to uh, is equal to what ay by by and uh, yc correct they have given yc here so ax by bx is equal to 3.5 and this is 2.5 okay now if you remove decimal this will be 35 by 25 correct now on solving with uh, this simplifying this you'll get 5 7 the 5 5 seven. so how much you are getting 7 by 5 right so option number d is correct that's all it's very simple next is question number this you can look at here in the figure a b c x y is parallel to b c okay this is parallel to b c then you have to check whether uh, we have to apply bpt and check so as per bpt we have two condition the small side of this and this correct small side by this two corresponding sides should be equal to these two right so let us check ax by ab okay small by bigger ax is smaller by bigger should be equal to ayc they have taken bigger one first so this can't be if you're taking smaller in the numerator here also it should be smaller so this is wrong next ax by bx so again ax by bx ay by yc yes both of the sides first they have taken small and the next the one which is below that so option b is correct if you look at this ax by bx and here they have taken ax by by so this is smaller this is bigger but we need both the smaller side itself so even this can't be ab by bx so ab the bigger one and this smaller one so again here it should be the bigger one and this smaller but here they have taken ac but they have given ay so even this can't be so only one option is matching with bpt is valid for bpt therefore that is our right answer next is this question observe the given two triangles and then identify the length df in the following okay so a b c they have given d e f they have given okay so you have to observe the triangle so look at here this is 60 okay again this is 60 
this is 6 this is 12 so this is the double correct two times of this now this is 3.8 this is again double correct so even this should be double correct because the ratio is two times correct so 3 is into 2 is 6 root 2 answer is option number a 6 root 2 that's all very simple next triangle abc and pqr are similar area of abc okay i will write abc area is uh, 64 and area of pqr pqr is 100 and ab is 8 ab is 8 and what is pq okay so again use that formula okay uh, theorem area this is area of one triangle by area of the second triangle is equal to the ratio of their uh, squares so when you bring this square this side this becomes 64 by 100 correct so how much is this ab by pq and ab they have given how much uh, first let me solve this is 8 by 10 and ab they have given 8 and pq so these two will get cancelled correct or else you can just do cross multiplication 10 into 8 by 8 so 8 8 cancel will get 10 pq is how much 10 centimeter option number c i hope you have understood next again in the triangle abc b is 90 bd is perpendicular to ac ab is given 6 bc is given 8 then the length of cd where is cd this this is cd so again you have to use that similar criteria okay we don't have any other way how are you going to do yes a b c okay is similar to since they have given a b c okay and uh, you can use this triangle so what is the triangle it is b d c correct b d c because center center 90 degree and c the last vertex is common c so we need cd correct where is cd here so let me write here uh, cd to take cd we need bc by cd correct and uh, which one is common the common side is uh, bd but we don't have bd value but we have bc correct and here what is this ac so you can take this ac by bc okay now substitute bc bc <coughs> bc is how much 8 divided by cd we don't know we have ac as uh, how much 10 and again bc is 8 so do cross multiplication you get cd equals to uh, 8 into 8 by 10 so it is a 64 by 10 which is equal to 6.4 option number b okay so this type of problem can be asked for two marks also okay and there they will ask you to prove so if you know this you can easily solve moving to the next question in the triangle abc d is parallel to ac then the correct relation so again you have to use bpt okay so let me check one by one bd by ab so where is bd this by ab okay so they have started small with the big one small with the big side ab so here it should follow ac but this is big side ulta so we can't take this now here look at the second bd by ab where is bd bd by ab again small by large or big you can say okay de by ac okay de by ac even this is okay next be by bc be by bc yes so this is matching okay so that can be the answer but uh, let us check with the others also ab by db so ab here they have taken large by small but this side next large ac okay ac by de again this is also correct be now see here they have taken the smaller one so this can't be ad by bd okay small by small good d by ac c d by ac small big so even this can't be only option number b is matching with bpt therefore that is the correct answer next question is in the figure triangle pq poq is similar to sor okay and pq this pq 
let me write it here pq is to rs that is by rs is equal to 1 by 2 then what is op by os okay so where is pq pq by rs is equal to 1 by 2 then what will be op by os even that will be 1 by 2 okay how you can write this poq is congruent to uh, sorry similar to triangle sor okay so po by so is equal to oq by or and that should be equal to pq by sr or rs so see if this two is equal to one by two what will be op by os even that should be equal to one by two and same with this so the answer is one is to two option number a got it next we have this question in triangle abc d is parallel to this then ad by db okay ad by db should be equal to small by small should be equal to ae by ac no ad by ab no de by bc no ae by ec yes option number d is the correct next is in the given figure pqr q is 90 degree okay pq is 5 and r is 30 degree then the measure of qr this is qr so this is from trigonometry you can say that okay because they have given angle so if this is theta this is opposite what will be this adjacent right so tan 30 you can take why because only for tan we have the formula o by a correct so o by a opposite that is 5 by adjacent is unknown that is qr so tan 30 is 1 by root 3 which is equal to 5 by qr so on cross multiplication you will get qr is equal to 5 into root 3 correct so option number b is the answer got it moving to the last question okay so what have they given i hope you have understood whatever i have discussed here till now if yes do press the like button okay so in the given adjoining figure okay a b c triangle given d e is parallel to okay d e is parallel to b c okay a d is 6 okay they have given here 6 b d is 10 okay b d is 10 a e is 3 okay good what is c e so just 6 by 10 should be equal to 3 by x correct isn't it that's what they have given cross multiply so x is equal to 3 into 10 by what is this 3 into 10 by 6 3 ones are 3 twos are 2 ones are 2 fives what is x 5 option number a that's all 5 centimeter is the answer okay so with this i will end this video here and uh, i hope that you have understood if yes do comment and give your views thank you for watching we'll see you all in my next video till then take care bye have a great time and all the best for your exam okay see you